This video is sponsored by Monimoto. Hello and welcome to another first ride review and today I have something slightly different and this is the Moto Marini X-Cape. Sometimes our motorcycles attract unwanted attention from unsavoury characters. And this is where Monimoto comes in. Monimoto is a GPS tracker, but it's slightly unique in that the unit is powered by its own internal batteries, so it won't drain the battery of your bike. It also uses a proximity fob to arm and disarm the bike, making it super easy to use. Simply download and install the app onto your mobile device and install the unit onto your bike. Once setup has been complete, make sure you have the proximity fob with you and each time you approach the bike, the unit will detect the fob and disarm it. However, if the bike detects movement and the fob is not in range, you'll get a notification to let you know what's going on with your bike. You can also use the app to see exactly where the bike is located. So you can rest easy with Monimoto, knowing that your pride and joy has that extra level of protection. Simply visit the link in the description and use code ENGLISHBIKER for 10% off of your order. And thanks again to Monimoto for sponsoring this video. Now somebody who shall remain nameless, Tim Rohde, <laughs> said it looks like a Wish Desert X. <laughs> you cheeky boy. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the white is probably my least favourite colour. They do a red and a grey as well. But let's throw our leg over it and see what we think. And in fact, before we do that, let's turn it on. We have a massive integrated seven inch TFT, as you can see there, just starting up. As you can see, it looks rather nice. Yeah, so fire up the Quattro. So that's what she sounds like. This bike is 6,999 pounds, but it has some really, really good components. Okay, so might as well start with the seat height. Stock seat height of 845 millimeters. I'm five foot eight with a 30 inch inseam. I'm on the balls of my feet, but you can also get a lower seat, which is 820 for you super shorties, but I feel okay. I feel pretty good. Very wide bars, very commanding riding position. So Moto Marini, who the heck are they? Well, I didn't realize they've been around since 1937, founded by Alfonso Marini in Bologna, Italy. So it is an Italian brand. They made some three wheelers first of all, and then in 1946 they made their first motorcycle. And over the years they've changed hands and made quite a few bikes. They've won quite a few GPs as well actually. And they are currently owned by Leviathan Zhong, Zhongneng Vehicle Group. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but they are a Chinese manufacturer. Legs out. <laughs> Legs akimbo. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they are a massive, massive group who make lots of scooters. That's who currently owns this uh, brand. But they are still designed in Italy, so that explains the rather fancy looks. So let's go over some of the technical specs. We have a 649cc parallel twin double overhead cam liquid cooled engine. Uh, that makes 60 horsepower at 8,250 RPM and it seems to redline at nine. So the engine is a Kawasaki EL6 derived motor built under license by CF Moto. And it's actually an engine that's in the 650 MT CF Moto machine as well. So a proven and very reliable platform. I can hear the comments already because <laughs> it's a Chinese company. I can hear them. I can hear you typing away. <laughs> so that is the engine. It makes 50. I think it's 53 newton meters of torque, or 54, at 7,000 RPM. So not, you know, not amazing performance. Let's just say that first of all. But it does have some rather nice components, which we'll get into now. So suspension-wise, up front we have 50 millimeter Marzocchi upside down forks, 175 mil travel, fully adjustable. So those are better than the forks on my Tiger 850 Sport. And at the rear, we have a Kayaba Monoshock, 165 mil travel, and that is adjustable for preload and rebound. So still pretty good. Braking wise, we have Brembo twin piston axial mounted calipers. Those bite down onto dual 298 mil discs. We also have a Bosch ABS system, dual channel ABS. At the rear, we have a single piston, I think it's a Brembo caliper, 
and a 255 mil disc. Uh, we have braided hoses all round. We have a 19 inch front wheel that's cast cast wheel on this version. You can buy spoked wheels as well as an extra. I think they're about four or five hundred pounds. Tubeless tyres on both the cast and the spoked wheel. So Honda and Suzuki take note. Spoked wheels on tubeless tyres. And the tyres aren't even cheap either. They're a Pirelli Scorpion FTR. We have <laughs> some very wet weather. Sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. <laughs> So let's talk about the chassis then. We have, as I've already mentioned, the seat 845mm or 820 low seat if you want to buy that as an extra. We have a steel tube frame. The engine is a stressed member of that frame. The wet weight is 232 kilograms with 90% fuel. We have an 18 litre fuel tank. So pretty decent size. We have 195 millimeters of ground clearance. So that's not so bad. If you did fancy doing some off-road shenanigans right we're gonna go down here actually a nice little country lane we're on an adventuring bike after all aren't we no riding modes although we do have an off-road mode which uh, does disengage traction control to the rear uh, seven inch tft dash which looks rather fancy um i'll switch over to gravel mode in a bit because the dash is quite different and it does look quite it's quite cool, it's a bit of a gimmick, but it is quite cool. We've got LED lights all around, we've got phone connectivity as well, if you so want to do that. We've got a little charging point up front, dual socket uh, USB, which is good for charging two things at once. No heated grips as far as I could see, not even as an accessory. No uh, cruise control or anything like that. It's a very simple machine in, in essence, but it does have some nice mechanical components. So let's start off with ergonomics then. I've got a lovely commanding riding position. I feel pretty upright and uh, yeah, lovely wide bars, very good for leverage. The seat is actually quite comfy. I'd have to take it on a longer journey to see how that fares, but uh, oh, that was a big hole. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, no traction control or anything like that. It's got ABS, of course. I did say that, didn't I? But yes, the ergonomics, it's actually quite comfy. Even standing up on the bike, it uh, does feel pretty good. The bars are quite high, so yeah, when you stood up, you don't feel like you're hunched over. Um, I will take it green laning in another video, so do subscribe if you're not already, so you don't miss that one. Um, vibes, absolutely nothing through the pegs or the seat, which is... I'm a little bit surprised by that. I'm also surprised by the shocking parking. You can't park there, sir. Okay, so small walk around. Yeah, there's your Pirelli Scorpion STR, Scorpion Rally STR tires, 19 inch front wheel. This has the cast wheels, but you can get spoked tubeless wheels. Are you listening, Honda and Suzuki? Brembo brakes, uh, 298 mil discs, braided hoses are standard. I mean, that's premium items. And look at these girthy Marzocchi upside down forks like I said better than the ones that are on my uh, Tiger 850 we have these lovely looks Italian designed no beak which I quite like we have adjustable brake and clutch lever uh, we have this adjustable screen I'll show you that in a second there's the beating heart of this machine the CF Moto essentially ER6 design um, stressed member 649cc 60 horsepower 50 something newton meters of torque We'll talk about the engine performance in a little bit. Lovely seat, really comfy. I like the way it goes all the way to the tank. So you won't smash your nadgers. <laughs> seat for the pillion is quite short, but it does feel quite comfy. You've got a little rack here. You can get full luggage for this, three boxes, panniers the lot. Pillion pegs, uh, the pegs are, they've got rubber inserts, just need to take out a little screw under there. And then you've got the bear trap style pegs, bear trap style brake lever, Kayaba mono shock at the rear, sort of under there actually little hugger I'd probably get a aftermarket hugger Brembo rear caliper 17 inch rear wheel yeah I think it's a bloody fantastic bike actually looking at it but the build quality is really high I mean you've got these little details everywhere like the Moto Marini logo X cape on the bars there yeah it does look very well put together 18 inch fuel tank 18 inch 18 incher <laughs> 18 litres of fuel 
the smoke is just water on the pipes don't it don't get don't get excited everyone switch gear is quite nice as well backlit as well backlit switch gear my god <laughs> It's a 180 degree crank, so it doesn't sound amazing. It's a bit kind of meh. Um, you can get an aftermarket can, an SE project, which will just make the meh a bit louder. But it's got a good amount of torque. Kind of, you do have to get it singing to uh, get the most out of it. But um, like most things, it, it is better than you'd expect. Like I always say, don't just look at spec sheets. It feels better in reality than on the spec sheet. I do like that dash though, I think that looks really cool. And as I said earlier, vibes wise, you know, other than the usual vibrations, or what I mean by that is, you know, all internal combustion engines cause some vibrations, but I'm super impressed by how smooth this engine is. <laughs> it's not the most exciting engine though, but you can still get some fun out of it if you let those revs climb. <laughs> Suspension is super plush, really impressed with that. Marzocchi forks and of course they're fully adjustable so if they are not to your liking you can fiddle with you know all of the settings and the rear is adjustable for rebound and preload which is again considering the price that's pretty premium components. I hope you guys can actually see what's happening. <laughs> Brakes are pretty good, you know Brembo's. Brembo's are pretty decent. Even these axial ooh, axial jobs. Let's give them a bit of a test. Yeah, they're not too bad actually. Let's just test out the rear. Yeah, pretty good. And as I said, you can switch the uh, ABS off to the rear as well, so you can slide around and have some fun. I love how balanced this bike feels. It's it's really quite surprising. I wasn't expecting it to feel especially a bike that weighs 232 kilograms i was expecting it to feel really cumbersome and wallowy and you you know it to need quite a lot of muscling around and it just doesn't so that is very very impressive i'm loving how this bike handles actually even on these horrible wet mossy mucky roads the tire's doing a really good job of keeping everything where they should be keeping everything upright <laughs> Uh, the wind blast, um, I haven't really experienced a faster road as of yet, but with this lid I did get a little bit of buffeting earlier. Buffeting! You can get a touring screen, and this is adjustable, you've got the little knob there, I won't... So you unlock it like that, and then... Ah, yeah. That's pretty blooming easy actually, isn't it? So the switch gear is also very nice, the indicator position is where I expect it, unlike Honda who do things a bit differently. Um, it's all backlit as well, which I said earlier, which again for the price is super impressive and it feels nice as well, quite satisfying. So it's one of those bikes that, you know, on paper you'd think, oh, it's heavy, it's low powered. It's not going to be any fun, but like I've said so many times, I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Do not just look at spec sheets, go out and ride something. If this fits your budget and you like the look of it, go and give it a test rider. I am pretty confident this will surprise you. Gearbox is silky smooth, so we've got a standard six-speed gearbox, one down, five up. <laughs> yeah, it's not super punchy low down, that engine, but once you get it up into the revs a bit, it does give you a bit of a, a bit of torque. Uh, so yeah, as I said, price-wise, £6,999 in stock trim. And by that, I mean without spoked wheels. The gold spoked wheels are 500 I think. Go check out the website if you want to know more about Moto Marini and the bikes they do. Uh, it's got a pretty good dealer network in the UK. We have 17 dealers throughout uh, mainland UK. There's 16 dealers and there's one in Northern Ireland. There's a couple in Republic of Ireland as well. Pull in at Blackbush and we'll get ourselves a coffee and I'll let you know my final thoughts on the Moto Marini Xcape when I come back. Right, okay, I have refueled my body with caffeine and sugar and that's just let me mull over this bike a little bit um, after my ride here. Honestly, I'm blown away by how good this bike is on my initial first ride at least. Now I'm gonna do another video or maybe two more videos with this, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. But uh, yeah, I mean the components on this bike for, again, 6,999 pounds. 
you get Brembo brakes, you get fully adjustable Marzocchi forks, you get a Kayaba monoshock which is pretty adjustable. These gorgeous looks. This isn't my favourite colour, I really like the grey and the red. Uh, tubeless wheels even with spoked, when you get the spoked option. Backlit switch gear, excellent handling. Okay the engine isn't the most exciting and the frame is a little bit heavy but once you get going and you open it up it is fun it's as fun as most other bikes i get to ride in this uh, genre at least you know natural competition for this is stuff like the Tenere, the transalp the v-strom although this is slightly underpowered compared to those bikes so i feel like that might be a little bit unfair and because of the price i think maybe this is like a more premium cb 500 x a little bit more power much more premium components i think better looking but let me know what you think down in the comments and uh, if you do go out today, do ride safely, but remember to have fun, of course, otherwise what's the point? And until next time, you take care. Peace. <laughs>